Okay, continue. Let's hope everything works this time. Do. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so I'm on another chapter of Higurashi, or When They Cry. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this name. Uh, Oni. Onikakushi. Onikakushi. I, I, I think I'm saying that right. I, I don't know. I'm gonna view tips. Eh, no. To heck with that. Don't, don't do that. I'm gonna continue. Yeah, doing another test. Woo! Ah! Hold on. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's better. <laughs> it was getting deafened. Oh, jeez. Oh, why the heck was that loud? Anyway. Uh, the function of the school as an educational facility is very questionable. Our PE class is exponentially disorganized. Fun. The only thing we do together are the warm-ups and the start. The teacher isn't even there after that. You're not doing your job then! <laughs> uh, all we do is play together. Oh, again, it's like an extra thing of recess, I guess. Does Japan even have- oh my god! <laughs> Does Japan even have recesses? No helping it. Everybody is a different age or gender. <laughs> oh lord. Oh. Okay. I don't know how to get rid of the time thing on there. That's weird. Anyway. The only rule was that we have to stay on school grounds while exercising. Exercising, sure. All the little kids were gallivanting about. Well, they certainly are being active. They might be gen getting plenty of exercise, but... The Board of Education probably completely forgot about this school. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Jeez. Sorry to keep waiting. Oh my gosh, guys. Seriously, I can see part of your butt cheek over there. <laughs> Sadako, jeez. We're all together now. What shall we do for PE? Alright. We have all of our members gathered now. I can't read well. Jeez. This is why it's a practice test for recording stuff. I'm recording a random thing just to make sure I can do it correctly. Woo! Now then, class representative, what shall we do for PE today? What shall we do? Uh, right now, I like you, even if you're up, it's weird. Mion harumphed and crossed her arms huddily. I can't say that word. Anyway, uh, surveying the area. Explosive power and endurance. No friends in the world of sports. Everyone is a rival. I'm well, dealing with congestion. Please. Okay. Uh, everyone is a, is a rival. The only thing you can trust is in your own body. Okay then. What the heck does that do you mean by that? You really read too much manga. <laughs> Equipped without miss missing a beat. 
And so, and so, we'll be taking a lesson in history. What the hell? The tried and true king of all outdoor melee events. Let's play tag. Jeez. <laughs> oh, uh. It was quite the adorable choice to make after playing it up so much. Just what I hope was hoping for. The Dunderhead Keiichi son shall be the first one to be it. Oh lord. No, oh, I suck at tag. I won't be beaten. Yay, Rena. Or Rika, sorry. I'll try my best too. You can't beat me. Tag. What are you? Why are you guys all so into it? It's just tag. <laughs> you can still have a lot of fun with it though. The third rule of our society. You must partake in the game, enjoying it without question. Then this counts as a club activity. <laughs> Everyone smirked at each other. They all seemed pretty confident. Man. I'm not, but the guy is. <laughs> Physically, I should be able to keep up with any girls my own age. Good luck with that. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Regardless, Mion and Sachiko looked like they were aiming for victory, and Rana was looking at me as if pitying my disadvantage. <laughs> See what I mean? Fine. Tag. I'm in! Well, echoed across the school grounds. These are the rules. Anyone who was able to evade being tagged for the bell was a winner. But we didn't switch who, who was it. Okay. The ones who were tagged by it also became it. Oh! Okay. So, that, that's really neat, actually. I like that. I like that idea. Shut up, phone. So the number of people who are it could increase exponentially. The end game would be a hellish siege. No kidding. <laughs> Trying to avoid everybody who's it. Oh gosh. I feel like I've run across something like that when I was a kid. <laughs> they call the version we are playing here Zombie Tag, you see. I see. Anyone infected by a zombie turns into a zombie. That makes sense. Make it sound so scary, I wonder. I wonder how. Huh. Poor Rena. As soon as I catch Rena, I'm gonna tear out your trails and well, while she's alive. <laughs> no! Don't say that in this game! That could happen! Maybe! I don't know! Oh, gosh! Gross! Gross, Keishi Koon! That's gross! It's called being a zombie. You get eaten, you get munched on, now you munch on other people. <laughs> Rika chan placed her hand on Rena's head as she <laughs> Don't worry, before Keiichi gobbles you down, I'll eat you up gently. Oh gosh, Rika! <laughs> that makes it worse! <laughs> Rika, that isn't comforting at all. Both me and I nod deeply. <laughs> so the first it, how do you decide who's the zombie? With rock, paper, scissors? With rock, paper, scissors? I speak. Well, it is class time after all. Let's decide by answering questions. I'll ask the questions, and the one who isn't able to answer is the zombie. I have no idea which grade level they're coming from. Oh dear, Keiichi's gonna be it. What does the Japanese word- oh gosh, this music. What does the Japanese word for Roku mean? I think I butchered that. Huh? I was bewildered by the sudden question. Neon repeated it. So, you need to answer. 
What's Roku in English? Uh, oh! Okay, so it's six. I don't know Japanese. I suck. Um, it's six! How about... Kutsushita. Kutsushita. Uh... Socks! What's the third and last letter in the alphabet? X, yeah. X. Oh gosh, I am dumb. What does Sebitsu mean? Sebitsu? Of course I know what that is. What is it? Se... Sadako <laughs> cut herself off before finishing the answer. She doesn't know. I see. It is quite... Oh! Oh! Wow. Wow, Leon. Just, just wow. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's quite a lewd question. <laughs> you're an adult, aren't you? Oh, gosh, Mion, no! Of course you can <laughs> say what it is, right? Oh, I, I certainly do. Oh, Lord. Of course I know. Then go ahead and say it. Oh, gosh. That, you know? That? Oh gosh, stop it! What does that mean? Exactly. Mm. Oh, Satoko looks like she's in trouble! How cute! Oh no, Mia. Oh no. Don't take her home! It's a crime! <laughs> if I didn't nip it in the bud, she really might would have tried to take her home. Oh gosh, in the middle of a school day! Leon's pursuit was rem. Relentless, making Satoko stammer. Uh, now then, go ahead and say it. Nice and loudly. Oh no, don't do that. What does that mean? I do know. I do know. Say oh lord. That means a person, thing, idea, action, or event. Which has been previously indicated in context. Oh, Lord. <laughs> huh? Ah. All of us were a bit surprised by Rikichan's unexpected answer. I see. Well, it certainly is what that means. That's true. That could have been awkward. I wonder what I would have done if Sadako's, in Sadako's position. I probably would just get ticked off and just blurred out, you know what, at the top of my lungs. Oh my gosh, no. I wouldn't want you as an enemy, Neon Shonazaki. <laughs> Thank goodness you were born a girl. Oh god. <laughs> Technically, yeah, it's kind of still sexual harassment. Jesus, Neon. If you were a boy, you'd probably be perverted to be a perverted asshole. <laughs> Oh, Satoko. It, it appears I have no choice. Unfortunately, I, Satoko Hojo, shall assume the role of the zombie. Aww. She, she looks so cute! Look at her face! She looks so adorable! No wonder Rana wants to take you home so much. I shall eat everyone! Seems like she's raring to go. Let me guess. It's gonna be me, right? <laughs> All I must do is count to a hundred, correct? Some jerks skip numbers while counting to a hundred. So you can start cha So you can start chasing after you've solved this problem. What? Oh, Hichigun. Give her a simple one, okay? One fifth of cake, one sixth of cake, and one seventh of cake of a cake all on a plate. Oh gosh, it's math. Oh no! <laughs> there are no common denominators! Zedeko grabbed a stick and pan and began drawing a cake <laughs> fractions on the ground. <laughs> if 
Sachiko. Who can eat one cake in 60 seconds? Eat all of them. How many cakes are left on the plate? Just as I finished giving the more weird problem, Neon shouted. Oh. Ready? Go! On Neon's signal, everybody but Sadako scattered. <laughs> hey, Chika! That wasn't a problem at all, was it? <laughs> Sadako had already lost the moment she started working on it. Aww! She's eating it all, so of course there's nothing left in the plate. <laughs> Everyone dashed off in a direction they thought was best. Knowing the lay of the land, they probably headed right to the best spots. It was obvious I was at a disadvantage. At a time like this, it would have been more effective to go along with those trained in survival skills. Like Neon, for example. The fact that I didn't realize it at the start of the game probably hurt my chances. You'll be okay, Keiichi. Glancing back over the school grounds, I saw Satoko rise and up to start. She was really, really mad. <laughs> <laughs> you got tripped up on such a dumb question. I stood at one of the corners of the school. I had clear s sight lines in two directions and would probably have a good response time if any zombies started closing in. For the time being, I caught my breath and focused on what was trained to think during club activities yesterday. Think calmly, Keiichi Mayabara. Talk. If I was it, what would I do? Increasing my numbers would be the shortcut to victory. Then going after the weakest player first is the obvious plan of attack. Yeah, you. Yes! <laughs> Meaning me! Oh, there she is. Now then, where could Keiichi Sen possibly be? I shan't let you escape. Yeah, but of course. What would the best method to track you? Know, footprints or smell or maybe some type of trail. You're not an animal. Well, technically you are. All of us are, but whatever. If I could craftily hide my tracks, then there would be no trail for Satoko to follow. <coughs> Sorry, cold. Even with the cold. But I was no detective. Would I even be able to do that kind of thing in an amateur game like this? Tomita Oak. Okanami. Gosh. Oh, okay, so she's asking people. <laughs> I thought it was a saying. <laughs> Tomita Okamaru, have you seen Kiechi san recently? What the heck? <laughs> Do zombies hunt their prey by asking nicely where they went? <laughs> Tomita kun Okamaru kun pointed to the location where I was hiding. Ah, traitors! You guys are mean! After confirming <laughs> she was headed in this direction, I abandoned my position. Run! It wasn't e it wasn't easy to hide myself without those little kids running around as I pleased. It was becoming even more obvious that I it was at the disadvantage from not being familiar with these surroundings. And that's how it was going to be. The front of this <coughs> This intelligence gathering zombie, I just can't hurt. And this in my vein. I approached some small girls playing with a ball. I'm sorry, but could you relay this message? Tell Satsuko Hojo that her parents are at the gate, please. Message, message. Ahaha. Okay, okay. 
I stopped the girls as they turned to run off. Wait, don't go yet. Also, take this one to me on Sumazaki. Tell her the teacher is calling her to the front gate. Oh! Oh, he doesn't- Oh, that's not gonna work out, dude. Well, then Tadako and Leon would run into each other at the gate. It would be a nice marriage with more people like it, but this was me we were talking about. We figured out a way to escape. But that was just fine, as long as it about me more time. Oh gosh. And it's for me and Mion and Satoko. I'm not doing your evil silly laugh. In the palm of my hand! Oh, spread over it. Having my fill of playing the con- Oh, the con and I looked for a place to hide. If you think about it logically, I'd only bought myself a scanned amount of time. It might even come back to bite me. Yes, it probably will. Once it became apparent, I started spreading false information through, the, through messages that could end up in the recipients of one of those messages. Yes, you probably will. Satoko probably asked the messengers to help her look for me. That would mean there would be more zombies than <laughs> participants in the game. The virus would be brought about by the mischief. By the mischief would cause epidemic. All my classmates would transform into zombies. And they would be searching for me. <laughs> this tax. This tax might fire horribly. While trembling at the thought of the impending dawn of the dead, I began searching for a safe house. <laughs> I found a shed by the incinerator behind the school. After climbing up the roof, I held my breath. I wasn't a bad, a bad place to hold out. Not only did I have a good line of sight, but if necessarily I could jump off in three different directions to escape. It was getting rowdy down there. The lower grades were running around below the shed. My bar son isn't around. Is he over there? Nope. Who's Keiichi son, I wonder? His dad is at the front gate. Oh gosh, yeah! <laughs> it's in backfire! <laughs> oh, that was definitely a lie. The word gate, the same one I used, gave a hint of revenge. So Leon was behind us. Probably Satoko. I was still keeping one step ahead of the game. I felt bad for my underclassmen. And they'd have to go search until the school bell ran. Hey, hey! You know where Keiichi san is at? His mom suddenly got really sick. A message from my Ibarra san. He says his house caught on fire and needs to come home at the gate. Oh god. A jumbo chef fell on my Ibarra san's residence. <laughs> Oh, this is just crazy. I love it. The police have come to question him. Anything goes now. They say he enjoys peeping into... Oh my gosh. They say he enjoys peeping into bathrooms. What? Is it true that he's going around every... <laughs> what am I talking about? I heard he wears panties on his head. Aww. No. Oh, no way I would do that. Yeah, no kidding. I heard the class representative Mion was victim was a victim too. What? <laughs> Jeez, this was your doing, Mion. Oh, no, Kate Chimarivara. This is Mion's battle tactic. Flush me out. Just hold on. If my underclassmen thought about it logically, they would know it's all nonsense. But small kids don't think about things logically. Just tell them all those things are true. So they all chuckle together while looking for me. <laughs> I win, Leon. It's my victory. <laughs> Big unrelenting tears away. Yeah, I felt affected by my own victory. Did you hear? I heard that the newest transfer student, Maya Barrison, is really covered in person. Oh gosh. The cost of being young had <laughs> too high a price. Ah. Oh, someone passed below. The Rena and Rika-chan. Oh no. 
Rika chan, you're still okay? Oh. He's getting by somehow. It seems as Mi-chan is it as well. Mion? Could it be that she'd become it because of my little strategy? Confirm that Mion was behind the relentless message war. Then, this wasn't good. They finally got away from Mi-chan, but Sadako-chan, she's... Sadako-chan is searching around the pipes, so we should be safe here for a while. Upon hearing that, I breathed a sigh of relief. While Vanna was sunk on the ground, breathing heavily, Richard started creeping up on her. Oh no! Richard recognizes she walked. <gasps> She's it! Oh no! No! What? Rika chan! What is it? What is it? Huh? Don't worry! I never heard of seen Rika chan smile so creepily before. Why are you coming closer? Why? Rika chan isn't a zombie, is she? Don't be scared. I'll be sure to you to Oh god. No way! Pikachu! No! Eek! My cat. Bennett was pressed against the wall and Rikachu lurched over with both arms and stretched like a zombie. Rikachu quaked with her back pressed up against the wall. It was quite a surreal scene of horror. One of those zombie upbreak videos you can see. Poor Rena. At the moment, Rena's eyes met mine. Michi can save me! Zombie Rika turned to 180 degrees. Exorcist style and glared at me. Oh no! <gasps> Found him! I see K Chan! Oh crap. He popped up behind the cinder block wall and the guard shell. Also seeing where I was, my position was only advanced. Advantages when there were there's one zombie, but sir, being surrounded was no good. You said you okay, Keiichi sir? Oh gosh, no! I can tell that's not going to rush in my way. It seems that Rika had let Rena escape, and now she is bearing her things in my direction. Look at Keiichi. Zombie sounds. Come on. Damn, Keiichi Chan! No, no. Three zombies circled the shed, nodding curses. You guys are scary! Too scary! Look at how Keiichi Chan. That's well paced. Oh gosh. Keiichi Chan! Keiichi, I want you to become one of us! No! Someone please save me! I saw Rena apologize. <laughs> Across the schoolyard! <laughs> An apology! Sorry. Leaving me for dead? Yes! Run <laughs> I left off the roof out of fear, slipping it as I landed. Let's go and Rika jumped on top of me. They're straddling me, they tickled me all over my body. Stop! Stop! No! <laughs> so we're zombie now. So, this means Rena is left. There isn't much time until the bell. Damn you, Rena! How dare you leave me for dead! <laughs> the feeling of a zombie. I understood how vengeful ghosts with, ling with lingering regrets felt. It's sad. It's sad. So sad. But Keiichi is one of us now. Sounds like a cult. <laughs> It felt like I had been bitten by a vampire. This is now one of their thralls. It was a strange feeling being welcomed over to the side that pursued me. Zombie tag is quite profound. Profound. Yeah. This is no time to postulate. We must capture Rena. The principal is walking down the hall. The bell will ring soon! To devour Rena. I have been turned into a demon of vengeance. 
proceeded to use any means necessary. Oh god. <laughs> Except I wasn't just a zombie. I was a master of the night. A vampire! What? No, you're still a you're still a zombie. Don't cheat. You're not allowed to cheat in zombie tag. That's cheating, man. Using the same trick that I had tightened the noose around my own neck, I used my classmates to further my evil designs. I gathered up the lower grades from the school grounds. Oh, listen. There's big trouble. All of you, please look for Rena. It's a bigger problem than a jumbo jet crashing into your family's house? Oh, yeah. I turned into that, hadn't I? Yum. This old nonchalantly trying to avoid the blame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not even the same league as a jumbo as jumbo jets. I fell out of his house. A space colony! What? <laughs> a space colony? <laughs> a space <laughs> Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah, it's a really big disaster. Everything in a hundred kilometer radius was obliterated. That's not only prelude to the tragic tale. This is the beginning of this. This is the beginning. The start of a war of independence by the Pro help? Pro Pen Gen of Zeon. I, I don't know how to say that. The lower grades were dumbfounded. Their eyes like saucers as they had the grand turn of events. What? What will happen? Will the Tyrian... Tyrian Foundation lose? If things go on like this, they will. Only one person can defend the Red Comet. That person is Rena Ryugu! What the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> the lower grade students all gulped. Indeed, I made them fully understand that the fight for Earth was lost without Rena. Now scatter, comrades! We must find Rena. My comrades of the lower grades let out an enthusiastic cheer as they dashed off in various directions around the school grounds. There's still one person who hadn't gone. But I thought the Terrian Federation's impulsive way to fusel cannon didn't work on the common. Oh god. You're close. It's the white variety of those comments. The reason it didn't work is probably because they didn't know the weak point. Of course, Renan knows their weak point all too well. Ryuga's sound is amazing. Which is satisfied with that. He alone rushed off to look for Renan. It does seem like Pahulu are some promising up and coming here. Oh, there's amongst the youngsters. Little K Chan's abilities. This old man knows them better now. Didn't really feel like she was complimenting me, but whatever. Really, though. How essential K Chan. This looks quite nice. Where'd Rika go? <laughs> If we have this many, we can win! If this many, we will win! Oh, there she is. I was thinking that Keichu would have been a better nominee for Intel for the Intel zombie. Rika Chan's words stung him to hey, let it slide for now. Uh oh. Not even Rena would be able to escape the entire class. As a last result, everyone's through a search, Rena was finally cornered in the back of the sports equipment shed. Oh, you're all scary! Keiichi Kun, too! So scary! Kelly was scary being chased around by the entire student body. I love Kelly Cat. Got two cats in here now. All the lower grades closed in on Rena. Saying she was the only one who could save the world. What are you all saying? I can't control a mech. <laughs> Rena, how could you leave me for dead? Are you ready to pay for it? I'm, I'm 
sorry about that, Kijikun, but, but I didn't have a choice. <sighs> Do not resist. Let yourself be devoured. I can't do voices well, guys, so sorry. Let's all be together. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. Now, Rena, say your prayers. <laughs> Rena had stumbled onto the mat, trembling with tears in her eyes, and closed in. Associating in this situation, a similar technically immoral one made my pulse quicken just a little bit. Setako and Rikin chan were both wiggling their fingers so close. <laughs> they probably wanted to tickle Rena. Rena wanting no part of what she knew was about to happen went stiff with fear. Aww. I know the feeling. I get I'm very ticklish. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Katie Kun. You wouldn't do mean things like everyone else, would you? Would you? I wonder. Oh, crud. Oh. Now then, are you ready? No! Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> it's so wrong! Okay, so as long as it's Kate, you can. Oh, God. The face she made, she resigned herself. Your fate made my heart skip a beat. I... I believe that Keiji could... won't do horrible things to me. Uh, body won't move. That had to be some sort of anti-zombie materia. Uh, yeah. The second my senses of reason chimed in, the beast inside me died instantly. Ah. There was the bell. Game over. Rena lives! Yay! I did it! I did it! I survived! <laughs> Zombie tag would be amazing to do. That would be fun as hell. Who cares if like you're an adult? Just, just do it. Just go have fun. Play Zombie Tech. Yay! Rena pranced around merrily as if the curse had been broken. <laughs> So daylight broke in the nick of time, and the evil zombie army disintegrated into dust. And so the heroine survived. Well, that's how it goes in the movies anyway. What are you postulating about? This is all because Keiji Sen was dawdling about. Hey, you guys were there too. Punishment is required. Hey. I was subdued by Setsuko and Rika Chan. And I'm once again sentenced to death by 100 tickles. <laughs> Jeez. Forgive me! I will never forgive you. This awkward of survey. Surviving goes to Rena Ryugu and Mion Shinozaki. Yay! Wait, what? Huh? Mi chan wasn't a zombie? Only pretended to be one. They say you can need to deceive your allies your allies before you can deceive the enemy, you know? Neon, what the heck? It's cheating! Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and change, alright? Don't be late for next class. Let go of me, Setsuko. Rika-chan. Having had my fill of being terrified to my own to my very core by club activities. I solemnly swore I would have me on crying for mercy next time. Oh, Yay! Break. Gonna take a drink. <laughs> okay. I really do like the art in this. Oh, it's after school. Oh, okay. After arriving home, I quickly made preparations to head out once again. 
Oh, okay. I had agreed to meet with Renan to dig Colonel Sanders out of the mountain of treasure from before. Mom, do we have work gloves? I need towels too. Aren't they in the shed out back? The towels are by the sink. Alright, now I was ready. Looking at me, my mom started <laughs> stared quizzically. What's going on, KG? Where are you headed in that getup? If they need to come dump again illegally, he'll be buried completely by it. It'll be impossible to dig him out. If that happens, Renna will be undoubtedly go after the Colonel Sanders in front of the fried chicken place in town. <laughs> a bit of excavating, so my classmate doesn't become a criminal. Well, don't be out too late. <laughs> the mother! <laughs> Mom returned to the kitchen with a puzzled expression still on her face. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Cutting through the woods is a shortcut to the dam site. I ran into someone. Is it Rena? Oh! Tomotake! You! Where's Tomotake-san? Oh! Are we gonna get into the dark stuff again? Probably taking pictures of wild birds again with his precious camera of his couldn't be that he took all the pictures. Wait, what? It couldn't be that he, yeah, that all he took pictures of. Oh god, are you talking about yourself, dude? Come on. Hey, long time no see. Hey, chicken, right? My due regards. I expelled the rude imagery from my head and greeted him without inciting anything. By the way, was that girl an acquaintance of yours? He was probably talking about Rena. Guessing by the way Tom attack his son was taken off. What was that all about? She was walking around with an axe. She was laughing with a huge smile across her face. Oh. That was Rena, without a doubt. Probably because she could we could take it home today. She couldn't hide her excitement. I hid myself because I thought it might be dangerous. Should I call the cops to be safe? Oh god. Well, it certainly would be quite a spectacle for a girl who of her age to be roaming around with an axe. Tomitake-san's reaction was the epitome of logic. Logical. It's fine, it's fine. Just leave her be. She's just wandering around looking for more victims. Oh no! More victims. I was alarmed by my crass response. Well, it's probably hard for a normal person to understand Rena. I'll just toss a bunch of BS out there. If you were to be killed out here, you'd probably be the one to do it. Try not to snoop too much around here. With a condescending smirk, I started off in the direction of the dam site where Rena was waiting. Before I got too far, Tomitake sound abruptly called out to me. What? Hey, Chikun, is that meant to be a warning for an outsider like me? Uh... I didn't mean that seriously. I did try to make it obvious, but... Haha! <laughs> I'll try my best to be careful. Leaving only those words behind, tomatake san left and turned and around and left. I didn't mean to call him an outsider. I wasn't really implying anything when I said that. It was only meant to be a joke, but it felt like I'd said something bad. Okay. And we're back at the dam again. Oh, she's in her outfit! I have that outfit. Kichikun! I was waiting for you. Let's try out our best today. I understood what Tomitakasun was trying to say. Somebody gallivanting about while waving an axe around certainly would seem dangerous. You should cover that axe or something when you have it in public. It's no good to carry it around outside in the open like that. 
Aww. Seems that I lost it. There isn't one. Thinking about it, there really was no need to try to keep up appearances. Everyone in Hinamuzawa probably already knew that Ren about Rena's eccentrics. Isn't it? Uh, I can't say that word. She's probably the only person who could carry an axe around Hinamuzawa and not be considered suspicious. I wouldn't know about that. Oh uh, well. Let's finish this off today. If we bust through this last beam, we should be able to pull him out. Got everything I need. Leave it to me. Okay. I took the axe from... Uh, made my way... Oh, okay, so she lost the thing to hide the axe. She didn't lose her axe. I thought she lost the axe. Okay. And I made my way up to the unstable slope. Just wait, Colonel Sanders. Keichikin will save you. Alright, get back. I'll finish this in one go. Probably gonna be more than one go. A solid thwack ran throughout Hinimiza as the job was being done by a lumberjack. Jack, yeah. How is it? Think you can do it? If it looks too hard, you don't have to strain yourself. If I can break through this, then we'll be good. I have plenty of power today. I can do it. But this adversary was more formidable than I expected. First of all, I never used an axe before. During a school camping trip, I had wanted to split the wood, but I lost it rock paper scissors and wasn't able to do it. Because the spot that I was standing was so unstable, I soon became tired. I decided to take a break. Yeah, I figured it would take longer than that. Rena had already spread out a trap and laid down. Oh, a tarp and laid down some tea and sweets. I'm fine. I'm almost there. I'll make sure Rena can give Colonel Sanders a good night kiss. Oh god. <laughs> good night kiss tonight. Oh, the dialogue. Yeah. Thanks. Giving Colonel Sanders a good. Oh gosh. Rena! Come to think of it, Rena, you're a transfer student too, right? Where did you live before? I asked her nonchalantly while drinking tea. I thought she lived her life, all her life here. Hmm? In Kanto. It wasn't a rule as it is out here, but it was still out in the countryside. Why did you move here? To Hinamizawa, I mean. You know, this is pretty far out in the boonies. Why did you move here? Does it have to do with your dad's work? Dad said he wanted to move out to a studio. He'd been staying, saying for a while that somewhere deep in the mountains like this would be perfect. Studio? Oh, okay, this is Keiji. Is your father an artist or something? He paints scenery. Sometimes it seems that twice a year he opens a gallery for, for the stuff he does. When he started, he worked, his works displayed in an industrial plaza in Tokyo. But now they're exhibiting in Makuhari Mise. He's determined to have them displayed in the Waterfront International Exhi uh, blah, 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 Exhibition Hall. That's amazing! Let me see them next time. I was too embarrassed to tell him I didn't really know what kind of pictures my father painted. Well, eventually I would I would. I picked myself up while giving some vague answers. But you transferred in the middle of the semester, didn't you? Wasn't that a hassle? Not really. I was getting bored of the city anyway. I was trying to get- yeah. oh. Okay. <coughs> okay, so um, I am reading it correctly. It is KG. I was trying to get answers from Rena, but I ended up being the one giving out all the answers. 
With a bit of a weary smile on my face, I grabbed the handle of the axe and headed back to the work site. Yeah, it is a little weird that he transferred in the middle of a school year. Usually people try to do that like in the summer or winter vacation or things like that when it's less inconvenient for like either work or school or things like that. The air grew colder as the sun slowly set. The Higurashi began their song as if to tell me to stop and head home for the day. Just a bit more. Today, I would end it. When I first started, I chatted with Rena as I worked, but now I didn't have the luxury. Yeah! You little. Damn it! I swung the axe countless times, just like this. Contact. Shards of wood splintering. The assailants butchered the victim's body with hatchets and pickaxes. Ooh, God. Yeah. I recalled that passage from the tabloid. If something like this would smash someone's head in. Oh. Yeah, it would. Axes and pickaxes are not meant to be swung at people ever. Oh, did he get through? With one last swing, the beam cracked apart. The weight I put behind the axe not only split through the beam, but smashed the ah oh, the statue's shoulder as well. The arm came off with a sickening sound. The clatter clatter down noisy, stopping at my feet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shoot. What's the matter? Are you hurt? Sorry. The figure's arm... I broke it off. Oh, that's all? I thought Keiichikun was hurt himself. I probably had a really guilty look on my face. I would too if I worked that hard to try to get something out and it only broke at the end. I would be really upset. Or at least feel really guilty if I was helping somebody. Rena, sp Rena said that without a hint of dismay as she smiled. We just need to tape it back and put a coat over him. Nobody will even notice. I see. Let's pull him out then. Can you get that side? Okay. It seems they haven't been able to find the one, one of the arms you see. I laughed dryly at how pathetic I was for considering the arm flopping down and rolling at my feet to be such a bad omen. Both Rena and Mion knew how sickening that incident was, so they pretended they didn't know. I had looked it up all by myself, and shamefully enough, I was scared. You're pathetic, Keiji Marabara. All right. Rena, let's do this in one go. Ready? And... Whoa! We did it! We did it, Keiji! Yay! The right time to give three cheers. That moment, two days of work bearing fruit. He who was brought to Hinamizawa covered in filth to meet his end. Instead, we are able to welcome him back. You're pretty lucky, Colonel Sanders. Colonel. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep calling him Colonel, I don't care. Your new master is, pre is a pretty decent person. Colonel Sanders, he's really cute. It didn't matter that he was dirty. Rena nuzzled him cheerfully with her cheek. Oh, Lord. I was dead tired, but seeing Rena's happy face made it all worth it. I'll help you carry it back. It'd be bad if it gets dark. Yeah, right. I really want to thank you, Keiichikun. I won't forget this. Think really, real hard about... What you'll do to repay me, okay? Wh whoa <laughs> Rena, you're worse. Your mind always seems to go to the gutter. Jeez. I wonder what kind of repayment. I wonder. Oh, jeez. For now, I just hold back an evil cackle. You are ready to take it to her house, but we couldn't go like this. We rolled up the statue in the tarp and lifted him. And so Jack and Jill went down the hill carrying a human-sized bag and an unsheathed axe. Oh god. I prayed that we wouldn't run into Tomitake's end. If he saw us, 
here he took here he took a picture. We'll need to get rid of them. Oh that's about that shit. <laughs> Is that meant to be a warning for an outsider like me? Something stuck to me odd about Tomitaki's words, unable to grasp my sense of humor. It left behind. Yay, done. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Cool. I will take a look at that. What kind of name is Rena? I'll probably end it here for now. <laughs> Rena's not here. You know where she is, Keiichi? Huh? She was just there, actually. Hey, Mion. Where did Rena go? Rena? Go to the bathroom. He didn't say she was going to have. Oh. I hadn't heard anything about like that. Sachiko, do you know where Rena went? Rena, you say? I just passed her in the hallway. Rena has class duties today, so she's off to water the flower bed. Ah, it was Rena's turn for class duty. Very much appreciative. Rena, Rena, Rena. Upon hearing it repeated, a thought came to me. It was rude to say this about someone's name, but it was a weird name. It was like some foreigner's name. What kind of name is Rena, I wonder? What kind of kanji does her name use? Rena is her nickname. Oh! She has a proper name as well. What, really? I'm sure that Rena Ryuku was her full name. Well, I can understand you mistake making that mistake since we only call her Rena. She even signs her name as Rena. Hmm, that's interesting. It's like it's her real name at school. At school. Let's ask her when she comes back. Setsuko and Rika-chan looked at each other. You don't need to ask her. We'll tell you what it is. Okay. It's the Ri from Ori. And the Na from Nara. Her real name is Rina Ryugu. Or Reina. Probably Reina, because of the E and the Reina, Reina, uh, the pronunciation. Uh, let me know if I get the pronunciation. If it's Reina or like Reina or Reina, it's probably Reina. Reina, you Reina, is it? Hmm. So it's read out as Reina instead of Reina. Pretty interesting reading. No, that's not it. Rena is the correct way. Rena had told us that she wanted to call her Rena. So we call her Rena. Okay. Keijin. Rena is Rena, you know? Only strangers call her Rena. Or Rena. You get where this is going? I understood what Mion was saying. It doesn't matter her real name. It doesn't matter what her real name was. Only what name we use between us. Rena Ryugu is right. Nobody other than that. So I was thinking if I had a nickname, would you call me by that? Good. So what do you want to be called? Con man. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, that's funny.
Rena then came back into the classroom. One of the janitors near the door told Rena people were looking for her. What is it now? Who is looking for me, I wonder? I wonder. Seeing that, both me and I sneered. What? You doth show herself. Yay. What? Con man. You're quite sinister. What the hell? What is this? What is this? Can't you come me chan or evil? Bailiffs? Bailiffs, yes. Con man? Damn you, Rio no scary Ryoku, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Rena no Suke. Uh, I love that. that. That's actually cool. <laughs> Rena no Suke. Uh, her name's now a guy's name. Today doth be when thou meets thy maker. Have it be. I'd be so confused too. <laughs> what? What? Suke-san, Kaku-san, show them what for. What? Aye, aye, oh, okay. Aye, aye, sir. So, okay, so Satoko is Suke-san, and I believe Nubika is Kaku-san? Yeah. I expect my fee to be paid to the Swiss bank account. <laughs> Since it's come to this, we have no Ooh, we have no choice. I heard sounds. Okay. We'll just have to have a grand battle with five people. Oh. Rena's fierce punches exploded in the proper timing to take out the seal. The evil that was me on and myself was vanquished in the end. I do hope that Rena does go on a journey to make the world a better place. How about heading to Naga Nagata Cho? My destination is decided by where the cute stuff gathers. So the toll the bell signaled the break time was over. Come on, come on, Kei Kun, Mi Chan. The teacher's coming. I took I took Rena's hand and stood up. It was just as the teacher entered the classroom. Just one more hour. Oh man. Then I'll buckle down for one more. That was interesting. So it's Reina or Rena. I'm gonna go by Reina. Reina sounds nice. Uh, I'm gonna save. Uh, okay, so. Oh, that was chapter 3, so this is chapter 4. End of chapter 4. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it here. I just want to make sure that this whole recording thing goes, and I might continue it. If you guys... I know it's chapter uh, 4, or I did chapter 3, and this is now chapter 4. Uh, but if you guys are interested, let me know, and I will do it, okay? Alright. I hope to hear from you guys, and know what you think. Alright. Bye.